Howdy. In Texas, Governor Abbott, he recently directed family protective agencies to start to investigate gender transition treatments as if they're child abuse. Good for him. It's about time because I think it is child abuse. You got a three-year-old, a five-year-old, a seven-year-old. I mean, wow, whatever the age is, it's abuse. I mean, these kids are not ready yet for this kind of stuff. And now they're influenced and, of course, told by other people that, hey, I saw you had, you know, you painted your fingernails the other day, little Johnny, so you want to be a girl? We're going to fix that. We're going to change you. I mean, these gender-confused peoples, they drive me crazy. They drive most conservative and free-thinking kind of people crazy on top of it all. Go buy a rooster for eggs. Go buy a bull for milk. I mean, you know what? God did have a plan. He kind of knew what he was doing. These people, they're confused. But hey, muggers, murderers, and robbers, they're exempt from gun control. Just wanted to share that with you in case you all didn't know it. They're exempt. Who knew? Now, if you expand a background check after a school shooting, that's kind of like, uh, if you pass that rather, it's kind of like demanding stricter driver tests after a hit and run or a car accident, right? I mean, it's not done. People are good, mostly, and good people, mostly, don't do bad things. I've said so often. Hey, income tax. It was brought in as a temporary measure during the World War, right? And Ronald Reagan said it well. He said, hey, when the government brings something in, it's very unusual for them to take it back. In fact, they, if ever, I don't think they ever do. Bah, it never happens, right? And Reagan had it figured out, and it's still going on today, so I want to ask you this. Why am I paying income tax? Why? I pay taxes on my wages and what I earn, and then I pay sales tax to spend my money that I've already paid tax on, and I've already earned it right, and i got to spend more money to get more taxes. Doesn't that sound good, huh? Kind of like fun? Not so much. I pay property taxes with money. Depending on the country that's already been taxed, right? I got to go out now and pay property tax on it. I'm getting kind of double hit here. Don't you know I'm taxed and I'm maxed. Income tax, it is the fine for being productive and welfare is the reward for being unproductive. How's that for fair? Not so much. Welcome to British Columbia Parks. This sign. How do you like this? I was out hiking the other day and on the Sunshine Coast in British Columbia, Canada. It's a beautiful day and I'm on the ocean. I can see whales and all kinds of cool things. I look up and I see this sign. And right away, I get kind of ticked. I'm in a bad mood. I mean, really? Do you have any evidence that there's been muggings of homosexuals and things like that going on? I don't think so. People come out here in the wilderness to enjoy the day. But here's the government of British Columbia. You belong here. BC parks are inclusive and diverse. I don't know. Is that necessary? I don't think so. Ah, kind of leave us alone. I, I don't like stuff like that. Canadian government says that the majority of gun violent crimes is by handguns. Well, you know what? That's not true. It's not true. Uh, however, this is true. The majority of crimes are committed by criminals. <laughs> you know what? These guys, these liberals, I think I'm smart sometimes. If I was half as smart as I think I am, I'd still be twice as smart as a liberal. These people keep on being themselves. It's remarkable, really. I mean, liberal talk. They do it all of the time. They, they fill all of us up with gook and stuff that ain't true and it ain't real and they're trying to influence the masses and, and it works because the press, the mainstream press, they're liberal, they're uh, left-wing wax mostly, and of course they feed into that and they, and they feed us and, and it's not very good. Liberal talk. We have to all push back against liberal talk. Liberal talk is like a drunk cowboy. I had to come up with a description. Work with me. Liberal talk is like a drunk cowboy reading a book on a galloping horse. That's pretty mixed up. Can you kind of vision that? That's liberal talk. Doesn't make any sense. However, a lot of people buy into it so we got to push back and talk. Always talk to people. There was a time when the silent majority kind of sat back and said, I don't want to fight with anybody. So when they talk stupid, I'll just sit there and maybe nod occasionally. Now you can't. You got to talk, got to push. Hey, have a happy day. See ya.